All right, buenos dias, mis amigos. So I just want to try to make this real quick and make it real clear that when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, it is the end of the world. Now I want you to think about this. All right, Second Peter chapter 3, where it says that the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. All right, so the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So this parallels everything. It's consistent with everything that we've read. And, and specifically in regards to no man knows the day or the hour. Right? So Jesus is giving us um, many warnings and um, examples for why we should always be ready. Right? And, but at the same time, we don't know when he will come. Alright? So the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Just like in the days of Noah, when they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving a marriage, and then the floods came, took them all by surprise, so also when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, it'll be a big surprise to the whole world. Alright? And so when he comes in the clouds of heaven, the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. This is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. You cannot have unsaved people living after this happens. And, <laughs> you know... I could talk about this for hours. I do this every day, don't I? But I just want to make a real quick video just on this one particular verse that sh should, when you piece everything together, should be as clear as day. You absolutely cannot have unsaved people living after Jesus returns, and there's nothing more wicked, more evil in the world today than a preacher that preaches this idea that unsaved people will live after Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. It's the single most cruel and wicked evil thing being taught in the world today. All right, have a great day, fellas.